yeah so basically privileged means i mean uh, any kind of advanced rights right i mean if if you say the word privilege that means i mean any kind of uh, extra rights or or extra uh, inputs will be given to somebody else or or extra rights given to some some officer or some some something like that right so similarly similarly the privilege access is basically whatever you are trying to access as a normal user right when you log into your pc you are a normal guy and you are trying to do some activity and the privilege access means you have some account or some ids where you will use that ids or accounts to do some actions which is more than the standard user okay so a special access or abilities above than the standard user is called the privilege access okay so why we will we will use the privilege access management because earlier what was happening let's say you have hundreds of accounts or thousands of accounts right and you can maintain those accounts and password in excel sheet or any other databases and you can rotate their passwords on timely basis right so let's say if you are working in airtel company and you are employee number 1 so let's say your password is airtel at the rate 1 and your name is let's say ravi airtel at the rate 1 r a and then something like that so that means you are you are noting down the password in some kind of known or some kind of uh, memo memorize memorizable format so that you can memorize it and you can use it so let's say in the next month when when the chance comes that i mean now you, all the excel sheets password needs to be updated what they were doing they were just doing at the rate one from at the rate one to at the rate two right or any other digit or or any predictable number right so so that that's the reason i mean when at uh, this cyber security attacker were doing some brute force or any other attacking technique right where they can uh, easily get into the network or get into the excel file and then they can get all the passwords even the even the ciso or uh, or or a higher level management uh, password right advanced password they can get it to and they can do any kind of uh, i mean malicious activity there so the, then then when privilege access management comes in the picture you have to have any kind of repository where you can save it and nobody can access it it should have a role based access where if you are not the right guy you should not having the access and whomsoever is the right guy i mean he can have the access to only particular id and the password and the password should be rotated continuously and it should not be predictable right so so if i'll talk about that how many types of accounts is there in the market right or or in the it fields so 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 you 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 will be seeing that there are some human accounts just like i mean our account which we will be using local administrator account or any kind of uh, fire call account i would say or emergency account and uh, non human accounts privilege access accounts if i will say let's like, let's say service account where a, a boat account or uh, or any kind of uh, uh, application account is used in any script or uh, or in any services right where they will be configured and time to time basis they will be rotating the passwords either manually they will be cut i mean copy and pasting the password in the script somewhere or or they will be updating the manually the password in the services or any task or anything so those those calls non human privilege accounts okay so if you if you will see this report right which is the picture here top 20 action varieties in the breaches this is the verizon 2018 or 19 report i would say and it has around uh, how many uh, yeah at number 4 201 the privilege abuse 
so you can see i mean that it comes on the cyber security right the attack uh, surface area it comes at number four i mean how important the pam is the privilege accounts is to secure and to monitor properly yeah so so the next thing is that privilege access management best practices what are the best practices we have when i mean you should rotate the password on the time to time basis you should having the uh, session recording and monitoring features you should have the basically uh, managing the password on the hard uh, code on the your uh, of which kind of i mean in any programming language you write right then then some some sometimes what we will do we will hard code the password the password is xyg or something like that so we have to also eliminate that and we should be using the multi factor authentication let's say if you are trying to log into the pam tool right you should have the mfa enabled there so that i mean the, it will secure your id at the first place itself with the mfa okay time to time you should have the uh, different different teams i mean who will be getting into that what what level of i mean exercises you are doing and which kind of uh, password rotation policy you guys are doing and uh, and whether the accounts are compliant or not those audit team will take care of that i mean they will they will sometimes i mean in, in a year or something they will check all those reports so so these are the best practice, practices i mean which we have we will be doing and which type of accounts we will be more, more onboarding and uh, and uh, what what all the applications which we have integrated so far with the pam so these these things i mean we will be doing in the cyber arc now the key privilege access management challenges i mean what kind of challenges we have I, as i already told you that to make the accountability right who should have the access and uh, when their password needs to be rotated those kind of uh, accountability we were facing some challenges okay before before the spam tools comes into the picture we were facing these kind of challenges so managing the account credentials tracking privilege activity so this is the a very broad topic tracking privilege activity let's say if you are i'm sharing the session with you right what i'm doing here and through which meeting i mean i joined here and uh, and what other actions i am doing if somebody wants to take a look on that right what you did and and if 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 you do any unusual thing right like day to day basis i mean i never use go to meetings right but if my organization tells me that if somebody opens go to meeting right then then they, the alert should be notified that who is using that and and what they have done so far so then comes i mean uh, the session recording and monitoring picture okay where the cyber act psm components will be used and then monitoring and analyzing threats there is one more advanced component here in cyber act pta where it will monitor and it will analyze which kind of threats and it will give you the alarm okay next one is the controlling privilege user access you can basically control i mean that by creating the different different types of accounts and by creating the access methods i mean which kind of access and what level of access we can let's say if i have the account right i want you to just use that account you should not see or copy the password otherwise maybe if you copy the password you will save somewhere else and you can share it to somebody else right or if you have the any account access and you can uh, rotate that account password from your own or 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 you can give access to any other guy right so any kind of i mean the privilege uh, uh, user access controlling power that will be covered in the challenges section so why is privilege access management important for your organizations so as a, as you already know I mean, since you are working in the uh, iit from past two and a half years so that i mean we already we as a human right we let's say what which kind of password we put kiran or ravi at the rate one two or which are i mean our city name or or something like that right so so another one is that uh, privileges are everywhere okay and one more thing is that let's say if you're 
company has 30 or employee right so then then you should have at least more than three times around 100 privileged accounts okay so the more number of accounts the more uh headache will to the management will be i mean how many accounts will be compromised and how we have to tackle that so for those reasons i mean the those were the challenges earlier 